today's guest speaker. Um, T. Dallas Smith is the absolute embodiment of the core values that I've just mentioned to you. Dallas earned his undergraduate degree in 1986 from the Robinson College of Business and was honored with our Distinguished Alumni Award in 2017, and he is a shining example of how far you can go with a Robinson degree. Dallas is principal and CEO of the T. Dallas Smith & Company, the nation's largest African-American-owned commercial real estate firm focused solely on tenant representation an accomplishment all the more impressive considering the firm was only opened 11 years ago. Over his career, Dallas has negotiated transactions for more than 7 million square feet of commercial property and 5,000 acres of land acquisitions totaling more than $2 billion in value. His client roster includes AT&T, the Coca-Cola Company, Crawford & Company, the U.S. General Services Administration, and the state of Georgia. Dallas has received many accolades over his career, including being named one of the city's most admired CEOs last year by the Atlanta Business Chronicle. And if you'll allow me to uh, convert or verge from my script, he won the Atlanta Commercial Real Estate Brokers Board Realtor of the Year earlier this afternoon and we didn't get a chance to add it. Which is his second Realtor Award of the Year from an Atlanta Trade Association. The guiding principle at the T. Dallas Smith & Company is client first. The firm's purpose is to add value and enrich lives, of the lives of the, of the individuals they represent and to enrich the lives of the companies that they work with. The company's foundation is built on respect, integrity, confidentiality, and pride, and those attitudes also describe Dallas. Not surprisingly, Dallas is an active, civic, and professional uh, individual, including serving on many boards in Atlanta, including the Atlanta Commercial Board of Realtors, the Council for Quality Growth, and the Empire Board of Realists. Dallas is devoted to his alma mater, to borrow a phrase from Georgia State Athletics, he truly bleeds blue, and he serves on the college's Department of Real Estate Honorary Board, chairing the Real Estate Committee of the Georgia State University Foundation Board of Trustees, and that's where Dallas achieved what he called a single greatest civic achievement, helping the university with its acquisition of the former Turner Field, now known as Georgia State Stadium. Last year, Dallas was asked what it means to be a leader, and he replied to me, I truly believe that you should serve before you lead. I think you must treat the shoeshine man and the CEO in the same way. I think that tells you just about everything you need to know about Dallas. And no doubt you'll understand why I never miss an opportunity to brag upon Dallas when he gets done with his speech here in a couple of minutes. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Please help me welcome to the podium, T. Dallas Smith. Thank you, Dean Phillips. I think I need to take him around with me all the time to make that introduction. I also realize another thing, the older you get, your accolades get longer and longer. So I was like, okay, when's this gonna end? So really, I just wanna say thank you, Dean Phillips, and to everyone else who had anything to do with me being the speaker today. So Dean, you're either gonna get the credit or you're gonna get the blame for bringing me in today. So let's see. But in the meantime, I wanna say graduates, congratulations. You have conquered a major feat. Give yourselves a hand, absolutely. I also want to give a hand clap to those husbands and wives and children who had to sacrifice with y'all being away from the house. So give them a hand. I love Georgia State University. Indeed, I bleed blue. And I'll tell you, it's primarily because of one person, David J. Swartz. He was a professor here, and he's most notably known for writing a book called The Magic of Thinking Big. And I met him, I'm trying to do this without my glasses, but I, let me put my glasses on, I apologize. Another sign of getting old. Uh, 
But he, he, he wrote the book, The Magic of Thinking Big. And I should say that Dr. Schwartz helped change my life and really helped to define kind of what was already in there. So Dr. Schwartz once stated, here is the first step toward success. It's a basic step. It can't be avoided. Step one, believe in yourself. Believe you can succeed. Dr. Schwartz had a lot to do with me believing that I could succeed. Well, the first day I met him was in one of the lecture halls with about 200 students. In walks Dr. Schwartz smoking an unfiltered cigarette. He takes his laugh puff and he puts it out on a sign that said, no smoking. Now, based on the number of divots in the sign, he'd done this many times before. Needless to say, he was not your average professor. So when he came in, he explained that he ran his class like a CEO. But he said, but I won't pay you with money, but I'm gonna pay you with grades. So for 200 students, his budget was fixed. He assigned titles for every grade. The president was the only one to receive an A. 10 people received Bs, they were vice presidents. 50 people received Cs, they were managers. 75 people received Ds, they were stock people, or stock boys, as he said back in the day. 64 people received Fs, and they were called janitors. Now again, this was this fictitious corporation. When he explained this to the class, at least 50 people got up and walked out. <laughs> I was glued to my seat because I'd never seen anything like this before. After he explained his method, he said, well, you've heard from me, now I want to hear from you. So he searched the class, he goes, I want to hear from you. So he points at me. So I got up from my seat, I walked up, he was behind the podium. I said, excuse me. He wouldn't move. I said, excuse me. He didn't move. I said, excuse me. He didn't move, so the third time, I moved him out of the way. So then I started to explain who I was. Hello, my name is Dallas Smith, and I am marketing director for a company called Atlanta Air Center Realty. And in the middle of me doing this, he stops, and he starts hitting the desk. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, what is your name? I said, my name is Dallas Smith. He said, Smith. He had a smoker's voice. I did say he was smoking, right? <laughs> Smith. You have it. Whatever it is, you have it. Then he starts to go into this thing about, it's really speaking life to me. 20 years from now, you're gonna be in a stretch limousine that's five blocks long. You're gonna make millions. You're gonna serve on boards. You're gonna change people's lives. And on and on. In fact, that particular day, I was the only one that got introduced. He took the entire class to talk about me. Now, he spoke this into me. So deep, deep down in my soul, I, have, I felt a lot of what he was saying, but I never uttered this to a living soul. I felt these things that he called, said I would be doing, I felt like I'd be doing them. But here's this stranger calling this out in me. And that's the power of professors. And in fact, give these people on the diet an applause because hopefully somewhere up here is your Dr. Swartz. Now, as I mentioned, I was already in my field. I was working for Tommy Tiff. I was a sophomore here at Georgia State. And I started off as a leasing director with him, then marketing director, then a vice president, and then Mr. Tiff and I started a company called First Brokerage. There, I was 25 years old when he made me president of this company. And so I saw myself working for, doctors, I mean, for Mr. Tiff really for the rest of my life. But in my senior class with Dr. Swartz, it was the last class you had to present your final project. And the final project you had to present was, what are you gonna be doing for the rest of your life? And so I wrote on a chalkboard, I gave my presentation in the class I will start a commercial real estate company. 
and I explained how it would be set up. Now, Dr. Sports would say, every day thousands of people bury good ideas, but because they are afraid to act on them, and afterwards, the ghosts of these ideas come back and hunt them. But as fate would have it, I would not start the company right away. In fact, my company didn't start until December 2006, 20 years later from the time that I wrote that on the chalkboard. But during that time frame, I became the first African-American broker to work for Cushman & Wakefield of Georgia, which was owned by the Rockefellers at the time. When I left Cushman & Wakefield, I had the opportunity of starting the brokerage division for Herman Russell, who a lot of you may know as a construction and real estate icon in this town, not just in this town, but across the United States. And as I look back, I realize God gave me the vision in 1986, but then he had to prepare me for the time when T. Dallas Smith & Company would be birthed. Today, T. Dallas Smith & Company, as Dean Phillips mentioned, is the largest African-American pure tenor representation company in the United States. And to this, I want to point out the importance of building relationships before you need them. My business partner, Dexter Warrior, and I were students at Georgia State at the same time. And in, fact, in fact, I saw Dexter in here. Um, he moved. He's right there. And Dexter, by the way, was the first African-American SGA president at Georgia State when I was here. So that's a whole other story. But <laughs> that's my business partner. And so we bumped into each other. Um, so let me clarify. Dexter and I were students here at the same time uh, back 100 years ago. Uh, he worked for institutional owners of real estate for most of his career, and I worked for tenants for the most of my career. We literally bumped into each other at a function in uh, 2010. And I asked him, how's Morgan Stanley going? He said, well, that chapter's over in my life. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. Well, I said, well, I know what you need to do next. I said, you've been ripping off tenants your entire career. You know every trick in the book. Let's use that. Come join me, and let's help save tenants money. And so we've been together now over eight years. Now, there's no such thing as an overnight success. So my point about building relationships, people in your class, make sure you, you just never know, maybe 10 years from now, you start a company together. You just not, you won't know it. But the only thing that requires is make sure that you treat them the way you want to be treated because you never know when that might come back to you. No such thing as an overnight success. Microsoft started in 1975 with a handful of people creating the basic software program. It took six years to land the IBM contract and another five years to go public. Today, they are global with tens of thousands of employees. Jeff Bezos started Amazon in his garage in 1994. Today, the company is a household name. And for the fiscal year of 2017, they reported revenues of $178 billion. Success is a marathon, not a sprint. Continue to put in the hard work. Trust me, there's no substitute for it. You achieving your MBA is proof of that fact. So, as you prepare to move on to your next chapter in life, please consider these four things. What Dr. Schwartz said, step one, believe in yourself. Believe you can, can succeed. Think success. Second, enjoy everyday thousands of people. Bury good ideas because they're afraid to act on them. And afterwards, the ghosts of these ideas come back to haunt them. Live with no regrets. Be clear on that thing that God has called you to do. Remember, he only told Noah to build the ark. He didn't tell anybody else. So figure out what that ark is for you and that thing that you are supposed to build. Thirdly, build relationships before you need them. Treat the shoeshine man and the CEO the same. You never know which one just might save your life one day. Lastly, give back to J. Mac Robinson College every chance you get. Thank you for your time. I wish each and every one of you the best that life has to offer. Congratulations. Thank you, Dallas, and if you'll come back up, we would like to give you a gift. <laughs> if I can get it up. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. 
So Dallas, this is a specially commissioned Georgia State flame that we've made with the Frabel uh, glass blowing company here in Atlanta, and we'd like to present it to you today in honor of you giving the commencement speech today. So thanks very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.